Today I'm be showing you a sniper turret build that you can use for the roadkill XP farm. Now you can do this on normal hard, very hard, overkill. It really makes no difference besides difficulty. Obviously if you're going up, make sure that you're with a good team. This is a very laid back way to do this farm as well because you're only going to be posting up in two positions in the game and then you just run to the exfil. Now, if you want at the end for weapon XP, if you got a team willing to do it, you can all post up. See what they're spawning in over the wall? If you post up to the left of there, you can just mow them down. 80% of the spawns, they just jump over the wall and you mow them down. Just make sure if you guys get low on health that somebody can make it to the exfil safely so you do technically complete it and you don't get like 500 or 1,000 kills and don't even get credit for them. I don't know how it works when you don't complete the mission exactly. So just make sure you're getting credit for all your kills. So you can use any sniper for this run. I'll get into all the perks and everything. I'm using the Renfield 900S. You can use the 20 million sniper. Any sniper will do. Your pistol doesn't matter as much. For the most part, the turrets are covering your back. It is actually really sweet how little you actually have to watch your back and your flank with this build. Well, and uh, where you're positioning. Now for your overkill weapon, doesn't matter either. I'm giving them the sniper rifle. I'm not even going and picking it up. I'm trying to drop it in the side that they're on after I go there. And if they pick it up, they pick it up. Going to be running heavy ballistic because we're not running. We're just posting up twice. Keep the frag grenades because you might as well throw one or two uh, when they group up. If you're on a mag or you got to swap out the turrets. And I use the motion sensor, and I'll show you exactly where I set up the motion sensor as well. So for the skills, the first one we're going to be taking is mower. And this is just when we reload our weapon, uh, we get edge. And then we have suppressive fire. As long as we have edge, every shot from our weapon has a chance to inflict heavy stagger. I'm not going to actually read them all off. I'll just give you the title of them. And then we have replenish, so we get our ammo back as we get kills. Then we're going to be taking disengage, because once in a while we do have that stalker dude come up, and at least if the turret doesn't get him right away, then we can just disable one. I haven't even got the run yet where I had to use a second disable. Either the turret's got him, or occasionally, once really quickly, I hit disable before the turret's got him. So I can recover faster. Next we're going to be taking sharpshooter. And we're going to be taking cutting shot. So while we do have edge we get armor penetration. And we're going to be taking speed aim to increase our ADS speed. Now I have swift equipped for the escapist category. This is only for basically going from this spot to where they are a little bit faster and also making it to the exfil a little bit faster. And I also took two extra grenades in case I want to throw a little bit extra frags and speed up when they do spawn in on the left and they spawn in really heavy. So like when you see like eight enemies drop on the left side, you can toss a couple frags like I do in uh, this run right here. Now for engineer, we're going to be basically taking everything. The only two that we're not taking are detonation and targeted fire you're going to take everything else and that is going to be 14 skill points right there i'm not sure if you can get more you can't really add more that's really going to benefit you for the sniping aspect i mean you could put swift on and run a little bit faster on the exville if we do end up getting more points but that's the build right there for the skill tree and for the motion sensor where I'm aimed right now at the truck, you want to put it in the middle on the right there. And there on the left with all the dead bodies, you're going to put it in the middle there as well. This is so you can see when they spawn behind the truck and you know which way they're going. Also, your teammates can see and it helps out a lot in this mission. I realized after I started doing that like 50 missions ago, like it is really nice to see exactly where they spawn in. And you can also drop the snipers so quick so you don't have to deal with the snipers. You're in a position to take that one out and the group really isn't being bothered by the sniper on the right. So 
this is a really easy way to do this XP farm, especially if you like sniping to begin with. Like, I do like sniping, I do like running and gunning, I kind of play it all, but as you can see right there, when there's that many, if they aren't getting straight mode down, you can throw a frag or two. You don't even wait for your turrets to overheat. Whenever it's slow or you see that you can safely just quickly get it up without really uh, sacrificing damage on the board or a bulldozer that needs to go, quickly swap out your turrets. Make sure they're always firing because you do get flanked as well. You are going to probably have like 10 or so enemies come up behind you and you want to make sure that your turrets are basically never broken. So ideally when they do get to that point of like smoking and on fire, make sure to pick them up and put them down. Even do that over taking another headshot or two because your turrets will put in work and if you get flanked, you can get uh, hurt bad. So. While those turrets are firing, you know that they're behind and then you can quickly turn and take those dudes out and then you can get back to the main battle. So once again, make sure that your turrets are basically never broken. And don't even worry about the sniper on the right. It's a waste of time. Like in between the waves, if you want to go put one head, uh, take them out real quick just to get a little bit more on your overkill or another kill, go do that. But... Other than that, completely ignore the sniper on the right. As long as you cover your team, and you can even have two people doing this, you do need somebody uh, to actually do the bags, but you don't actually want to drop down as well because you covering in that position and replacing the turrets is more beneficial than you going down and helping with the bags because if they do get enemies coming while they're doing that, at least you're sure that those enemies are going to die. And now really quickly, I will show you a visual of my loadout and skill tree. Just for everybody who does prefer a visual, here we have the loadout. If you need to, you can go back and pause. And here we have the skill tree. Like I already went over all this, so not gonna be spending much time on it, just quickly scanning through. So you can see the exact positions of everything that I mentioned. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.